Hi, this is Javier Encinas. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, model and design a combined footing using ASDIP foundation. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use one of the verification examples uh, available in our website. This example has been taken from a very uh, known, uh, recognized textbook, uh, Reinforced Concrete Mechanics and Design, uh, fifth edition by Wright and McGregor. This is the example 15.4 in, in, in that book. This is what, what the, what the uh, example says. Uh, one column is 24 by 16. Uh, the load is 200 kips dead and 150 kips uh, live. The other column is 24 inches square, uh, 300 kips dead and 225 kips uh, live. The distance between columns is 20 feet. Uh, allowable soil pressure is 5,000. So basically, is this. That, that's what the example says. Two columns with these loads, 20 feet between them. The exterior columns is just at the, at the property line, so the footing cannot extend beyond the column, the column face. This is a limitation in the, in, the, in the example that we need to take into account. Uh, the, the interior columns, yeah, no problem. We, we can extend the, the footing if, if necessary to, to do that. So this is what, what the, uh, the example says. Okay, let's open uh, as the foundation. This is basically, uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the numbers again to, uh, as a reference. Well, let's see how simple it is to uh, model this uh, combined footing. Um, the software is uh, designed in such a way that uh, these tab pages let you define the input data very easily, very straightforward. For example, in geometry, you can put here in the, in the, in the footing uh, tab, distance between columns, we know that is 20 feet. And uh, this is the, the dimensions of the columns. The, uh, we're going to propose some thickness of the footing. It's not given in the example, of course. It's part of the design. So we're going to use 40 inches, and, and we can change it later if, if necessary. Columns. This is the column sizes given by the, pro by the problem. 16 by 24 is the exterior. 24 by 24 is the interior. 24 by 24. So uh, this is given by, by the example. In, in the in the loads tab, well, we, we can input. The program allows you to uh, either uh, use a pre-combined loads if you have already the reactions given by a, by analysis program, and you just need to input uh, those loads here. You use this option. Just either service and factor loads given by the analysis program. If they are not combined and you need to combine it interior in, 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 in ASDIP, well, then you select this option and you're given these this, uh, alternatives here. Dead, live, roof, live, snow, wind, and seismic. In the example, we're going to use this option, of course, because we need to uh, combine the loads internally. It's given by the example that... Uh, 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 the dead load is 200 in the, in the exterior and 300 in the interior. Live is 150 exterior and 225 the interior. So this is given very simple to input. Materials is also given by the by the example. So uh, uh, concrete and and, and, and steel uh, uh, capacities. Uh, soil bearing pressure is also given 5000, 5 ksi, K, ksf, and the columns. Also, you know, F prime C, F Y, and from, for, for the concrete and, and, and the rebars. And finally, uh, the, reform, the reinforcement tab, you know, here you can input all the rebars for the footing and the rebars for the column. This is part of the design as well. So you can change everything you, you need or, or necessary to, uh, to make your, uh, your example pass all the, all the checks. In the output side of the of the program you can check here just at a glance what went wrong or if, 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 or, if, or if everything passes in this case for example this one-way shear in the interior column is failing just by nine percent so we need to uh, address this this issue uh, during the design to to make it pass 
In the condensed tab, all these numbers are shown, but in more detail, you know, the overturning calculations and all, you know, the, the two footings uh, at, at the exterior column and in the interior column, all the details are here. The sliding and the long longitudinal reinforcement, materials and oblique calculations if necessary. In the uh, detail tab, all the calculations are shown here, but by but step by step and with the exposed formulas. You know, everything is exposed, so nothing is uh, hidden. And, you know, code uh, references also for, for uh, easier uh, reading and easier uh, following of the, of the calculations. So, so very nice, very simple. Okay, so basically, uh this this is a, the uh, the example that that uh, we are uh, designing right now this footing well for example we're, we're going to use a footing that is eight feet wide we can see it graphically here it's eight feet wide 20 feet between columns and we are extending in the interior footing 466 feet all these dimensions can be changed. Of course, I, I know that these are the numbers that are given in the example or, you know, where the example is solved in the, in the textbook, but I can optimize all these and, and, I, and I can check it. For example, the bearing pressure here is five, the allowable, allowable bearing pressure, and the maximum bearing pressure in the columns the, under the columns and the footings is 4.9. It's, it's very close. So it's, 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 it's almost there. It's almost there. So it, if we change, for example, here, instead of 466, we put 5 feet. Of course, you know, this affects the numbers, affects the, the exterior, and so on. So the idea is to modify the numbers here and play with the numbers and see the effect on, on the on the on the right side and, and, and optimize your design. Obviously, in the example in the textbook, you know the authors already took care of all this and the example is optimized. So they know that the bearing is going to be very close to the allowable uh, pressure. But in in in, in as the, in the example, you can change any dimension, any parameter, and see the effect here particularly with the reverse. No? These are the reverse using the example, but you can change any dimension, any, any reverse if you want, sizes or number of reverse, and see the effect. So the idea behind uh, uh, the philosophy of ASDIP is to provide a tool that uh, you can use to be in control of your design and change whatever you want in order to optimize your your design uh, the program is uh, completely updated with the latest codes aci 14 so it's uh, very reliable and uh, the most important is that it's user friendly you can input the information as you just saw here is very very simple and very straightforward uh, okay uh, thank you for your attention. I'll uh, see you in the next video.